What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel. You're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we talk everything EDC gear here. Today, we're, another, we're doing another quick unboxing video. Just got this package in the mail from A14 EDC. Check them out if you haven't already. Bam, he also makes great content here on YouTube as well. And of course, I'm getting this knife here as part of Lefty EDC's knife pass around. So check out Lefty's channel if you haven't already as well. Super grateful for the opportunity to check out these knives. With that in mind, we're going to go ahead and get into this package. What's in the pocket today? We have the behemoth of a knife, which is the Kung Wu Pulsar XL. <laughs> this is an XL knife. That about tells you everything you need to know right there because this thing is huge, right? It's good. It's, uh, probably, this is the biggest knife that I own right now. Recently did an unboxing on it. I've been having a blast carrying it. It has a drop point LMAX blade satin finish with the also wonderful titanium milled scales uh, going on there, which I love. Uh, crossbar lock, great action on this one. Gotta check out Kung because they're doing a killer job with their knives everything they put out is extremely good value for the money and of course this knife and every other knife that you see in this video will be linked down below for you guys to check it out it does help out the channel when you use those links but that is entirely up to you with that in mind let's go ahead and put this knife to work here shall we uh we're gonna go ahead and save as much of the package as i possibly can this thing is a laser beam sharp knife right here without a doubt uh so we're just gonna go ahead and make a executive cut up here and yeah we're just gonna go ahead and see what we have all right we have a kaiser knife right here and we have a ooh, one of those premium plastic cases which is unknown just kidding we have some details right here we have the voodoo we have the tuya nice voodoo here s90 v handle satin flats uh take it as a flat grind going on and it's orange peel titanium on the handle yes we know it is the voodoo i believe this one is from two and I. so let's go ahead and open it up right and let's just see what we're working with bam check this thing out we have the knife here which we're going to take a look in a second a nice wiping cloth going on there from two and eyes check out the ball bearings on this one these are rocket glide rings all right kind of got the specifications right there if you want to take a look those are skiff blades or i believe i'm not sure if lefty has already done a uh, skiff replacement on this one that would be interesting and of course warm blades home of tuya usa sales and service All right again this knife will be linked down below for you guys to check out and look at this thing holy smokes all right let's take a look at this thing together shall we <laughs> Boom. All right. First impressions. This thing, it, in typical Tuya fashion, it's a little bit bigger, savage <laughs> than more bigger and more savage than I expected. I'll tell you that right off the bat. So we have the orange peel titanium going on, right? It is a S90V blade. And this one's called the Tuya Voodoo. All right. Let's check it out. You got a very good uh, opening there on the blade a nice hole for spidey flick thumb deployment no flipper on this one boom holy smokes check out this thing you guys man <laughs> okay so you know me i love a very good one cliff blade that's certainly what we have going on here uh if you want to call it a sheep's foot sure go for it right if you want to call it a reverse tanto then i don't know what's wrong with you but whatever <laughs> get the blade police out here right either way man check out the beastly savage looking hollow ground going on on this one always love a good hollow ground with a bell satin finish and that's exactly what you have going on here holy smokes is that thing a looker wow so s90v which is a pretty good steel I'm, i've been loving s90v more and more as time goes by a little bit more than m390 it's kind of up there with 20 cv as well for me and yeah that's exactly what we have going on on this one it is a frame lock we do have a stainless steel we do have a steel insert on this one for steel on steel contact let's check out that drop shot action okay so it's not guillotine drop shot but it definitely drops shot with just a tad bit of persuasion right you give it you know the angles if you will right you kind of point it the right way obviously move your fingers out of the way and wow yeah i mean it could be drop shot you just got to give it the just just the right push i guess but yeah i love the action already frame lock on this one 
what else we got going on let's get a feel for the ergo so your standard grip is going to be back here right the handle starts or it is a little thinner in this section and it gets gradually thicker towards the back which is good because you're going to basically lock this knife in the harder you squeeze the more locked in the knife is in your hands okay i have average hands or not the biggest of hands or the smallest of hands i still got a good chunk of handle left there which is good and check this thing out got a nice finger choil going on there for this one so i can forward choke on this bad boy and boom now we're talking <laughs> now i got even more handle room right here so if you got bare paws i'm talking triple xl hands or more then yeah you can still get plenty of purchase on this bad boy all day every day holy crap this thing is good um pretty decently sharp right there i don't notice any nicks or dings on the blade just the way i like it and man i can get enough of that action so let's try it with the thumb deployment yeah i can fire that pretty good so we got those two deployment options unless you want to count this as a deployment option but both of them are pretty reliable i want to say obviously this thing is on ball bearings all right spidey flick right there is my favorite just gonna tell you that right now no jimping on the blade and that maybe that was intentional right uh it wouldn't have hurt to have some additional jimping there for more control so your thumb doesn't slide off or something on a specific task but you know it's not a deal breaker or anything we have a matching titanium backspacer here same orange peel finish going on it does have this titanium has like a like a bronze finish to it which looks pretty good the hardware is steel all right so is the pivot all right so a pocket clip uh, i want to say i i feel the pocket clip a bit right there but not that much so it's maybe like an 8.5 or a 9 out of 10 right so it's still very good it has a little bit of curvature to it i notice here and uh, I notice it doesn't land on top of the lock bar, which is good. The stress relief cutout is on the outside. So depending on your preference and your liking, I know some people like the cutout on the inside instead of the outside. But again, that's not even affecting the functionality here at all. doesn't even affect the knife going in and out of your pocket either. So that's something to consider there. I did notice the knife is not reversible uh, pocket clip wise. So lefties out there, there might be a lefty version. As a righty, I'm gonna tell you that, yes, I do love obviously the fact that it's a much cleaner flush design without a filler uh, tab or anything like that on this side. But if you're a lefty, of course, you would wanna enjoy this knife as well. So maybe they do make a lefty version, I'm not sure. Uh, and then you have your laying your hole towards the back there for the three to four people in the world that do lay your holes, then boom, there it is, okay? Check out the alignment on this one. All right, that alignment is smack in the middle. I want to say maybe a tad bit to the left. I'm noticing maybe like a hair more closer to the left than to the right. Okay, I'm not sure if we can tighten it up a bit and adjust it. So I'm just going to get my quick T8 right here. And if I can give it maybe just a tad bit, nothing crazy. Yeah, still a tad bit to the left. And this is not my knife, so I'm not really going to tinker with it too much. I mean, does it really kill my OCD? Uh, not too much. You know, I try not to look at it. <laughs> but it's I, I'm telling you, it's not anything ridiculous. It's just a hair to the left, you know, so it's not smack in the center, if you will. I'm sure if I tighten it more or what have you, I could dial it in. But, I mean, it doesn't affect the action anyway. This thing is still drop shutting, deploying right like as you would expect and yeah let's get some size comparisons here shall we and surprise surprise i do have the tuya kaladin here in the channel by the time you're watching this unboxing the unboxing for the kaladin v2 which is a dancer by the way check it out right there dancing on the <laughs> dance floor uh this one is pretty beastly too i mean two your knives is just they're putting out some beastly designs at least these larger bigger knives certainly I, I get that vibe this one is a skim skeleton design i believe and uh s90v as well drop point right large cutting length right there on that one there's a flipper deployment only with titanium and carbon fiber so check out the unboxing on that one to get a little bit more details on it i'll also link it down below and we'll also compare it to the behemoth that was the pulsar xl the knife that we used to unbox the voodoo right 
and yeah check that out so all premium knives titanium uh with premium steels right the voodoo is not as large as the cod and v2 definitely way shorter than the xl pulsar xl from kumu all right you guys be the judge right there i really wish i had the tuya raf i had that one for a bit but obviously i had to send it back to lefty because it wasn't mine but I believe there's a V2 version of the Two Year Wrath coming out. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. So you can be up to speed with all the knife uh, updates and news and everything that I know. Obviously, I'll share with you guys uh, as quickly as I can. But that being said, let's do some of the usual suspects in the channel here. The PM2, the Para 3. So the Voodoo, if anything, it's closer to the PM2, but still a little bit shorter and perhaps yes bigger than the pair of three you guys take a look there for yourself and by the way this is the voodoo from tuya knives i know there's another company no knives they have an, they also have a voodoo model as well which is pretty good check out dennis at edc for fun because he has that knife in his channel he got it himself so if you want to see that other voodoo, check out his channel. The Demco 80 20.5 and the Shark Cup right here are both going to be smaller than the Tuya Voodoo. Rot Model 1 and Rot Model 2. Let's say the Rot Model 1 has been the, one of the largest knives in the channel until the Pulsar XL showed up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, pretty, pretty comparable to the Voodoo, except maybe a tad bit quarter inch bigger, if anything. And of course, the Voodoo will be bigger than the Rot Model 2. And last but not least, here's the CJRB Pyrite and the Vosteed Raccoon, right? Both of which are actually smaller than the Voodoo. So the Voodoo is definitely on the large knife category, right? Absolutely no doubt about that. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and do a very scientific paper cutting test, shall we? Let's put this Bell Sand Finish Hollow Ground to the test, S90V Steel. Without further ado, check out them swirls right there. Oof. You can tell this thing's gonna be a slicer. Wow, laser beam style, right? That straight edge is gonna put in work. So we know it can do paper all day, every day. Absolutely no doubt about that. What about some cardboard? We have some everyday diaper box cardboard. This one comes with the artistic works <laughs> or what have you. This one is single wall cardboard. So remember when cutting cardboard, don't cut perpendicular, but rather at an angle. I'm gonna do the forward choke option here to avoid this corner from sinking into the cardboard and it will look something like this. <laughs> what? Yeah, this thing is. Wow, let's say large knife for cardboard cutting. Absolutely, right? And it's also gonna be a knife that's gonna be significantly, uh, have a, a long enough geometry or length to the blade where you could do cardboard cutting for a long period of time. Maybe you'll put on some gloves or something for added comfort, but ergonomically I'm locked in and I can cut as many cardboard or as so much cardboard as I want. And that S90V, which is gonna hold an edge, you know, for a decently long time, and the hollow ground combination are both going to be putting some work for you, no doubt. So you guys rate it in the comments. It's not sharp, brand new, out of the box. It definitely has seen some use. So how much of an edge has this guy retained? You guys let me know in the comments. Well, there you have it, guys. That is the Tuya Voodoo, right? Tuya, again, knocking it out of the park with another great design, right, here. So this one is a design of David Freeman from Freeman knives you can sort of see the backwards f and the k for freeman knives uh, david freeman is a designer on this one so great collaboration there i know i follow him on instagram and you guys can too freeman underscore knives and you can also follow tuya on instagram they go by tuya knives dot us as well so going back to the knife overall of course you guys know this was just an unboxing and first impressions video on this one again shout out to lefty edc for the opportunity to check this one out definitely a pleasure of course i'm super grateful and you guys know the drill i'm going to be carrying this knife for about a week here uh if not more and gather as much feedback as i possibly can before 
dropping the comprehensive review with all the feedback I can possibly gather on this knife so you guys can learn more. Of course, if you're not yet subscribed, this will be a great opportunity to subscribe to the channel and stay up to speed with all the new content coming up. And if you haven't yet smashed the like button, this will be a great time to go ahead and like the video. It really helps the video reach a larger audience with the YouTube algorithm. And of course, this guy's gonna be linked down below. If you wanna check out details and things like that, you certainly can. I'll be linking it down below. I'm not affiliated with Tuya knives as of yet. Maybe I will in the future, but I'm gonna link this guy to their site anyways. But every other knife that you saw in this video will also be linked down there, right? Those affiliate links, right? If you do end up purchasing a knife through an affiliate link, it does help out the channel at absolutely no extra cost to you. And also completely up to you. That being said, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing experience. Check out the unboxing video on the Pulsar XL or the Tuya Kaladin V2 from Tuya Nice. So I'll put those videos right here respectively for you guys to check those out if you haven't already. All great knives, premium knives for you guys to take a look at as well. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you for hanging out with me until the very end and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.